Palliative care is care for people with terminal illness, care for people who are dying. In the old days, people died at home and they were looked after by their families and perhaps an occasional visiting doctor. In modern times, dying has become something done in hospital and it's been attended by a lot of intensive medical care that's often increased discomfort. I think for a long time, people have been afraid of the concept of dying and the issue of health around dying. One thing my father has always been able to embrace is an acceptance of death and the ability to approach it in the best possible way for people. Now, I went to the head of our unit hospital and said, look, we, we are not doing dying properly. We should be doing something much better than this. So I promoted that, I wrote about it, and I was happy to be appointed the first palliative care professor. I see palliative care as just good medicine. Much medicine is now practised in hospitals where people are isolated from their families and from their homes. It doesn't look particularly at the needs of the patient, the emotional needs, the spiritual needs. Head, hands and heart. And we have to try and encompass all those three in looking after a patient who is dying. Doctors often pass by quickly and order drugs. I find it's very important to be with the patient. I hold a lot of hands, I'm afraid. And just to sit and listen and be quiet sometimes. Ian is an inherently kind, accommodating, tolerant person who never issues a sense that he feels his time is more important than anybody else's. Part of death being a taboo is that people are a bit scared to talk about it. And I think we have to encourage people to face the reality of death, to face also the realities of grief when people are losing those whom they love. We often steer away from comforting people. We're not quite sure what to say. I think the concept of community and community involvement have always been important to my father. This was probably influenced by his time in Papua New Guinea where the family and the community of the village was so important to the successful functioning of the village as a whole. I suppose one of the things that I would like to see is the wider promulgation of, of uh, kindness and fairness in human exchange. If palliative care is provided well, particularly in the home, the family get through their grief much better, I think, when they've been participating in looking after things and seeing comfort done well. I'm still on the job to promote palliative care and see it much more taken up as a general part of medicine, not something that's just a little specialty, but something that everybody knows what to do. Ian celebrated his 81st birthday just a few weeks ago. He remains an extraordinarily energetic person. Every hour seems to be important to him. I think that in my life I've been prepared to take occasional at least risks. And I think all of us need to look at taking risks to move out into areas that are beyond the immediate comfort zone that we feel.